so hello everyone welcome to one class group channel my name is devansh prohit and today we are going to go through a couple of popular problems in algebra so these questions are going to be at uh, middle school or lower school level like i don't think that you won't uh, you will find these questions at high school level and especially at university level but yeah you can definitely find these questions at uh, <clears throat> any aptitude test like gre or lsat or anything like that so <clears throat> and uh, a little bit of background of myself so i am in the final year of my graduation <clears throat> and i'm doing my graduation in aerospace engineering and uh, if you need any tutoring help or if you need any one-to-one -one live sessions then you can check the links in the description below <clears throat> so <clears throat> without wasting your time let's just start with our lesson mm. So we have question number one. <coughs> How to find the factorial of a negative number? So the thing is that the factorial, uh, uh, I'll just write factorial here. Again, please don't judge my handwriting because this is digital board and I don't have the practice of writing in, uh, on uh, digital whiteboards. So. <coughs> Yeah, so we need to find the factorial. So for example, let's say I have a number, uh, let's say n number, n is the number. So <coughs> to find the factorial of n, what we do is that we multiply n with n minus one, with n minus two, and it will go on until n minus, <coughs> n minus one. So this is the formula for factorial. Now suppose if we plug in an, uh, a negative number. So let's say the factorial of negative uh, 1. Then it will be negative 1. Minus 1 minus 1 will be. Um, I'll just write. Minus 1 minus 2. And continue till. Minus 1. Minus of minus 1 plus 1. <coughs> so this will be minus 1 times minus 2 times minus 3 continue till minus 1 this will be 0 so this will be minus 1 and we can clearly see that this is not going to end like <coughs> this kind of series they never end and that's why factorial of negative number and in fact factorial of 0 is not defined so <coughs> factorial of negative numbers does not exist <coughs> so <coughs> if we go for the solution then again uh, in the given solution also it is mentioned that the factorial operator is only defined for positive numbers and the factorial of a negative number does not exist so that is true and <coughs> i'll just say solution given here is correct so solution given here is correct <coughs> and solution is correct <coughs> 